It's a horrible situation this woman is pointing out. When your boss says you have to keep him happy, right, in the workplace because you're not doing thus and such, and presumably she wasn't not keeping him happy because she wasn't selling enough DTV. The implication, the connotation of this comment is that keeping him happy involves some type of sexualization or objectification in the workplace that she had to put up with his predations and flirtations and come-ons because she's a single mother that he knew and she has bills to pay and she he knew she'd have to go along to get along with all of his control issues. This is outrageous sexual harassment and it's illegal. So there's another approach should it become unbearable and you don't have to wait till that point in time. You write to your company's HR director. I just Googled who's the HR director for AT&T, saw the name of the woman who's the current director, then went to a site called Rocket Reach, looked up her email address, easy to find, five free lookups a month. You could write to her, the subject line says sexual harassment, sex discrimination in the workplace, and then you detail everything that he's doing to you and saying and how upset you are about it. Your company has to investigate it. They will have to call him onto the carpet and interrogate him. They're gonna talk with you too. They might fire him, they might fix it for you, right? That would be a total win. And even if they don't, the company is not permitted to retaliate against you. So if they're firing you, they're gonna to have to offer you severance, which is negotiable. If they fire you without severance, employment lawyers like me will take your case. And while I'm not saying that you should do this if you live paycheck to paycheck and you're, you wanna to, want to jump off a bridge if you get fired and you have nothing waiting for you, but how much can you take? And this will lead to, all probability, either corrective action or a severance package. And you could go to work somewhere where you're not being driven mad and objectified on a daily basis.